Hello and welcome to Project 380. Today it's going to be a bit different. I'm going to show you how to make your own bead forming tool. Looks a little bit like this. A bead forming tool is generally used on aluminium pipe, intake pipe or intercooler pipes. Usually it comes standard like this. You can get some ends that already have the bead on them but when you're making your own intercooler setup like I am um, it all comes in a DIY form where you get loads of angles weld them all together but you're left with an end like this now when the boost hits the silicon may pop off and the Jubilee clip hasn't got anywhere to latch onto so we use a bead foreman tool so it gives it a little bit more more grasp so the silicon is less likely to pop off now I'll show you how you can make it all you're gonna need for this is an old pair of mole grips maybe the the teeth are nice and worn out like these ones are uh, you're gonna need a sacrificial screwdriver you'll see why later you're gonna need a big chunky thick washer and you're also going to need two big bolts or a bit of flat bar, a bit of box section, something like that. We're going to start off by giving it a good old clean up, get rid of all the grease. We're going to grind all these teeth flat so it doesn't leave nasty marks in our piping. This is where we're going to decide how far from the end of the pipe you want to start the bead roll. So I'm going to say I'm going to start mine at 10 millimeter and finish it at 15 millimeters. We want something to push the pipe up against so we've got a nice uniform bead roll all the way around. To make sure it goes in the right place every time, I've cut a little bit of washer and we are going to weld it on the back here so the pipe pushes up against it, same place every time. So now you can see it's going to stay in the same place every time. Flip the vice grip over and clean the other jaw up. We're going to get rid of the ridges on this side as well. Now with the other bit of the washer, I've ground it out and cleaned it up so that it will just slide over the jaws. And what we want to do now is work out our position of where this wants to sit. And it wants to sit just in that groove there. So we're gonna take a Sharpie and mark the bottom of it. Now, grab your screwdriver, um, we want to cut this end off 
as if you look it is magnetic and it won't be any use to us and will probably affect our welding so we'll go ahead and chop that off Once that end's cut off, we're just going to clean up about three quarters to an inch off the end so we can weld that up. We are going to be attaching the screwdriver to here for extra leverage, so we're going to clean this up as well. We're going to take our screwdriver and just weld it on the end. So now we want to put our bolts here so we've got something for the vise to clamp down on. I've already cleaned this bit of the mole grip up and I've already cleaned up the bolt heads and um, we're gonna try and stick them further this way because we don't want to put any heat in here this is where the adjusting screw and the springs are so we're gonna put them up this way Once you've got a tack or two on, pop it in the vise, clamp it down just to make sure you've got them straight. After a little bit of fine tuning, it's time for a test. So, have it in your voice, nice flush so it's not going anywhere. Pop your pipe in all the way to the end stop and just slowly work your way around. I would say that's an adequate bead roll. Once you're happy with the way the bead has come out, give it a quick coat of paint, that'll be good for years to come. If you have used this video to make your own DIY bead forming tool, drop a picture of it down in the comments so everyone can see. If you liked this video and hopefully learned something, smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe.